On this episode we explore Tegs Nerds, a lovely destination in the Peak District with lots of sights to see, including reservoirs and the views from the summit. Now the summit can be approached from the top car park, or if you want to make a day of it you can walk to the base and work your way up, making yourself earn those views. This is a dog friendly walk, but as always, keep an eye on them. Tegs Nose has many starting points. The most used is the country park at the top of the summit. This makes it an ideal starting point for those who don't want to have to go uphill for their views. Or you can take the path down and explore the entire area. It will be well worth your time. All destination information will be in the description as we hope it inspires future travel plans. Alright, today we're at Tegs Nose Country Park. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful here. I will say this, there are a lot of people here and it's early, first thing in the morning. So this is definitely a destination where you don't mind uh, walking alongside a lot of people. There's going to be tons of sights to see. Let's go journey on. So the start of the walk is quite a descent down. Um, be wary if you don't like inclines or declines and um, just take it easy but as always look at those views. I can't wait to go journeying down here. It's a typical moment for our journeys. We get all dressed up, we get scarves, jackets, ready for your typical English day, even preparing for that rain. And about 10-15 minutes into the walk, the sun is beaming down upon us. There are many markers along the route that take you along the journey. To our left was the forest, but for today's journey, we're taking you to the reservoirs and then back onto the sun. You might find there's a lot of shots today where I'm quite stationary following Christy and Ballo. That's simply because there's a lot of slopes, loose rocks, and it's very unsteady. So watch as you go, and I'll try and avoid the shaky cam best I can. All right. Now I'm gonna have a drink of water, just like Ballo. finally made it to Tog's Nose Reservoir. It's absolutely stunning. Nice little walk around. Very nice. Please also note there is a car park here, so if you only want to see the reservoir, you can park here. I will put the details somewhere on this uh, video. And I just want to go explore. Valo has gone on ahead. And so will I. See you in a bit. Spots here to relax with a picnic and watch the 
what I'm noticing as I explore these reservoirs, there's a lot of parking around here. So if you do want to just explore these few reservoirs, you don't want to do the summit, you don't want to do the hills, the forest, you can go to these what free word locations and you can just park here and enjoy the views. Half an hour, hour, go grab yourself a bacon butty afterwards. All right, let's journey on. From this entrance we start our ascent up the hill towards the summit. This route has a bit of a steep incline so make sure you're prepared but there are lots of viewing points along the way for a nice break and a drink as you take in those lovely views. We're now on our way to the summit, which is actually part of the Gritstone Trail. This is going to be an absolute workout for me. I'm carrying all my equipment on my back. Ballo and Christy have gone on ahead. I can't wait to reach the top and take some pictures. Nice journey on. So we've made it to the first gate. Now, if you do want to just do this little trip and then head back down, there is another little route behind me. On the other hand, we're gonna venture to the summit. Carry on this journey. Summit walks like these are absolutely amazing for one's fitness. Now, I'm no fitness health, health expert, but these inclines are amazing. Take it slow, and every now and then there are little spots. You can just rest, check out the views. It's absolutely beautiful. There's many benefits to going out for walks. Stretching Bella's legs and him smelling and playing with everything's one. The other, Experiencing the great outdoors. This bench laying out a world of future travel plans along with us. If you like us, take pause and plan your next journey. We've stumbled on a little spot just a stone's throw away from the summit. A few benches, Bella's just lying down in the backdrop. And I'm just taking in these views as you can see behind me. So you've got the reservoirs. And from this distance, you can see all the beauty in the land. I think I'll continue to explore the Gritstone Trail in the future. So if it's anything like this, there's a lot of beautiful journeys to be had. And I hope you travel here too. See what I see and enjoy what I enjoy. It's journey on. It's Bella's time to explore. After doing a bit of exploring, I came across this where libraries donated books for other people, and you can sit on this bench. Look and read a day away. 
sounds absolutely beautiful. Now I would obviously do this myself, but I think Bella might get a bit impatient if I sit down with a good book. We finished exploring the summit. It was absolutely beautiful, stunning, and so many places just to sit down and enjoy the views. We're just on our way now back to the car park. Hopefully not as uh, sloping as I hoped, but I can't, I can't help myself. Taking a look at these views every five minutes, hence why most journeys last about four to six hours instead of like two. Oh. Hopefully there's not been too much shaky camp today. I'm doing a bit of walking and shooting now, but the path is a little bit more stable here. Let's journey on and I hope you enjoyed this travel. on a casual stroll alongside the road back into the car park. Now Valo is on lead and behaving. And I am gonna go get some ice cream and milkshake. Does that sound good, Valo? Here are some outtakes and funny moments from these travels. Remember, don't take life too serious. We don't, and nor does Valo. All right, today we're at Tegs Nose Country Park. You have no idea how many times I have to say that. Is Valo taking a well-deserved rest at the start of the walk? No, don't shoot time. Valo. <laughs> Me? You have a little rest? A little bit of water? Valo, up! You've made it to the end. I hope that wasn't too difficult for you. Valo and I really appreciate it. And if you've liked this video, maybe consider clicking that like button to show appreciation. If you would like to see more of our journeys, consider subscribing by clicking a logo on the right. You can also follow Valo the Lap Hunt on Instagram of the same name and I'll list it here below. But most of all, please leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what we could improve upon, what journeys you think Valo should explore next, and let me know the travels your companions get up to. We hope to see you on the next journey. Till then, all the best on your travels. Bye now.